Sergeant Johnson Bahari joined the Princess of Wales Royal Regiment in August 2001. He became a driver of warrior vehicles in C Company Battalion. He served in Kosovo, Northern Ireland and Iraq. He was awarded two of the highest honours a soldier can receive. I decided to join the British Army because of the life I was living on the street. I was involved in drugs, in crime, um, gang, and it was not going to end nice. So I decided I needed to do something with my life, so I decided, well, to get away from the friends, the army was my option. And that's the reason why I joined the British Army. At the age of 22, Sergeant Bahari went off to fight in his first war. I feel excited because as a trained soldier, I wanted to go out and do the job that I trained to do. On the 1st of May 2004, while serving in Iraq, Bahari was driving a warrior tracked armoured vehicle that had been called to the assistance of a foot patrol caught in series of ambushes. The warrior was hit by multiple rocket-propelled grenades, causing damage and resulting in the loss of radio communication. The platoon commander, the vehicle's gunner and a number of other soldiers were injured. We were tasked to assist the foot patrol and get the casualty out. For me, I was the, the driver of the command vehicle, so I was leading the convoy into that battle. On the way in, we came into a roadblock. In Iraq at the time, we don't drive over any obstacles because it could be ID improvised mine. So I decided I'm going to take an alternative route. So I turn in on the left, advance forward. But whilst I was advancing, there was loads of explosion. So I call out to the boss and I ask him what was happening. I didn't get any response. So at, at one point, I realized that I run out of space and I was in the middle of an ambush. I said to myself, I'm not going to die. So I'm going to get out of the vehicle and take hard cover. I was leaving seven soldiers in the vehicle to die. And at that point when I realized I was leaving them to die, I decided I'm going to stay with them. Sergeant Bahari was forced to open his hatch to steer his vehicle, exposing his face and head to the enemy fire. So I turned the vehicle to the right and I move up to the end, edge of the wall, move it over like a door. I had enough space to drive through. And as soon as I started going through, I realized that there was anti-tank mine. I knew what was going to happen if I drive over it because the vibration alone was going to set it off. So I had to make a decision and the decision I made at the time, I put the mine as a 50-50 but what was happening behind me, meaning the enemy was shooting at us, was a hundred percent. So I decided I'm going to take the 50-50 and drive over the mine. I can't tell you if the mine went off because there was so much explosion. Eventually after advancing down the open road, I came to a building named Simic House where the rest of my company was then. So what I do at that point, I get out of my vehicle and I went and lie down underneath. Because the vehicle was on fire and the enemy was still shooting at us. And I lie down under the vehicle and I'm thinking, I need to tell the boss to get out and the gunner and the commander. So they sit on the top of the vehicle. The enemy is still shooting at us. The vehicle is on fire. And I couldn't understand or come up with a plan how I was going to get on top of the vehicle without being shot and being blown up and being burned. So I just get out, crawl out from under the vehicle, put my rifle on my back, climb up the front of it and run through the fire. And the first person I approached was the boss. When I touch him on his head and I say, boss, boss, are you okay? I didn't get any response. So I grabbed him straight away, pull him up, put him on my back and carry him into safety. I came back again, I get the gunner into safety. I went around the back of the vehicle and individually carry the casualty into safety before I went back into the burning vehicle and drive it into pretty reasonable safe area. Bahari drove the warrior through the ambush, taking his own crew and leading five other warriors to safety. But I knew the vehicle was going to blow up. So I drove the vehicle down the side of the riverbank, went back into the gunner seat, disabled the weapon system, take all the rifle I could find in the vehicle, disabled the vehicle itself, and then I went and sit in the next vehicle. And that's more or less the last thing I remember of that whole incident. Because I've been told I had a heat stroke 
I was shot in my head and I, I defused five vertebrates in my lower back. So I was in hospital, so I didn't really remember much after that. He was cited on this occasion for valour on the highest order. While well, back on duty on the 11th of June 2004, Bahari was again driving the lead warrior of his platoon through Alamara when his vehicle was ambushed. A rocker propelled grenade hit the vehicle six inches away from Bahari's head. He received serious injuries. Other rockets hit the vehicle, but despite his life-threatening injuries, Sergeant Bahari retained control of his vehicle and drove it out of the ambush area before losing consciousness. So I don't have no memory of the second attack in Iraq 2004. So I've been told by the guys who was there that on 11th of June 2004, we was on QRF. QRF is quick reaction force. And what you do, you just sit there, wait for something to happen, and then you react. At that point, the, the, the camp get blown up, but we knew where the enemy was, so we went out looking for them. And on the way out, probably about half a mile, I drove into an ambush again. But this time it was pretty serious because I had a rocky popper grenade come from the left to the right, and that's in a six inches from my face. Blew this part of my face off, but I still managed to reverse the vehicle out of the contact, saving 12 more lives. I don't remember doing it. I've stayed five weeks in a coma, which I was on life support for, for a very long time. Sergeant Bahari required brain surgery for his head injuries, and he was still recovering in March 2005 when he was awarded the Victoria Cross. I was in a hospital when I was told by the nurse, I was in the papers, I was going to be awarded the Victoria Cross. I didn't know what it was because I don't have no military background. I grew up in the Caribbean, so I don't really know much about the military medal system. And as a young private soldier, I was more interested in getting promotion more than which medal next I'm going to get. So I really didn't have any emotion and I was in hospital so I was more or less trying to recover from what happened. The full citation was published to the London Gazette in 2005 and commented Private Bahari carried out two individual acts of great heroism by which he saved the lives of his comrades. Both were in direct face of the enemy under intense fire and at great personal risk to himself one leading him to very serious injuries. Bihari displayed it repeated extreme gallantry and unquestioned valour. Despite intense direct attacks, personal injury and damage to his vehicle in the face of relentless enemy action. Sergeant Bihari is a real hero, but what advice would he give to a young soldier who wants to join the army today? For anyone who wants to join the military, I have, my advice to them is it's a job you have to absolutely show that is what you want to do. And if, you, if it's that's what you want to do, you want to go in to be a leader and not a follower.